Welcome to another episode of Crypto Minder, guys. Today we are going to be explaining what is happening regarding the Bitcoin and, of course, Ethereum price. What in the world is going to happen? What are the price targets? What we are expecting and things that no one is telling you right now. Guys, don't forget, please, to go down, scroll, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, press the bell button for all the notifications. This is the only thing we are asking we don't ask for money we don't ask for anything you can join for free our community is a very nice place when we are sharing opinions and of course what we see in the charts uh, the signal group of course and let's go directly to the charts to see what is happening right here right now After we broke down all the way from this level and the 58,000 something that we were saying guys to everyone, please take profits all the way up. We don't know what is going to happen and of course this accumulation phase uh, that we have right now, uh, I am showing and I'm thinking guys that we have been changing our pattern, this place here where we are expecting broke down all the way down it return back and it start forming a totally different pattern of what we were expecting regarding the symmetrical the symmetrical triangle that we have seen forming the previous um, period of time and of course holding this support here what we showed also in the previous videos guys what we were expecting this broke all the way down it returned and it touched again this insane resistance line where we have right now and we are expecting that this most likely will come back to retest at least this support level right here guys what i'm doing is that i'm creating a new support why we see that this one is clearly showing bullish divergence at this place and these bullish divergence are coming because this one, of course, is a falling wedge. And this is something that no one is explaining right now as far as I see and know. So, uh, guys, what we are expecting in this area is that we can easily come and retest for one last time the 30,000. If this guy is going clearly to break on the downside and hold one daily candlestick, then that's all and what I expect for Bitcoin uh, and the bull market is actually gone. So this is the clear and the truth. What I'm expecting is that we, uh, if in case and any kind of possible scenario, we come and see this kind of uh, break on the downside confirming that everything is gone. Everything is gone in the next price level. It could easily be the 24,000, approximately right here, 24,000 uh, to 23,000. And then maybe most like scenario coming to test most likely this trend line and then all the way down to the level of 18,000. This is my price target. The 18,000 is the biggest support level and what i am expecting for many technical reasons the good thing though is that we clearly on the daily forming bullish divergence and what i see guys is also uh this trend is going to of course test this place down here and this is going to be the last chance for bitcoin to come jump all the way up break this and go to the 44,000 and most likely continue going all the way up. The truth is that, of course, we should take care and that we should hold, uh, break this level, this resistance line to the 47,000 by confirming with daily candlestick so we can start believing again that we are in a bull market and that not everything is gone why because this could be the last place that bitcoin will come to retest 
and is going to be a major resistance level because of what happened in the past and all these touching points that we have on this support and now has been a new resistance level that we will come and see most likely in the close future what i'm expecting after we come to at least touch this point the 31,000, 32,000 or 30 even take care guys that the monthly close shouldn't be under the 30,000 if this is going to happen and we have a monthly close under the 30,000 everything is gone we are going to most likely create a crazy doji candle on the six month chart and this is not going to affect bitcoin immediately but the next six months they are not going to end up so well let's jump directly to the ethereum chart and see what is happening regarding the ether ethereum on the daily time frame is going in this insane i would say uh, pennant that we see right here guys the good thing though is that we have also some bullish divergence coming on this chart as well what we should see is not for ethereum to break this level because if the ethereum will break this level then we should start forming like bitcoin some kind of downwards momentum in this way and then start forming a little bit better and clear uh, the bullish divergence that we are expecting to see uh, so if I, we are breaking this level right here guys the measurement price uh, is actually this level and of course we are going uh, and we have to see a confirmation happening right here we never take profits all the way down so this support level that i'm showing right here we have been actually forming and touching in the past 1740 23rd of may should be a level that we should watch again and this most likely is going to happen very very fast as hap as this happened here and we can come and expect that we should hold and respect this level and this support on the 2000 level and this shouldn't be a closed a daily close especially that we should see because if this is going to happen then ethereum is not looking so great at all uh, so because bitcoin is actually performing a little bit better right now uh, ethereum should start returning and this is my opinion uh, from this level a little bit so if we go all the way up that's this level or this level the 2615 then we should see then a consolidation continuing with this pennant and we can start hoping for a better future in the shorter and longer time frame for ethereum i also mentioned that uh, a period of time of three to uh, ten days it should be inside the levels of uh, consolidation so if we are breaking this level in 2858 then uh, we are back in the game and of course nothing finished we can easily see ethereum forming a very nice pattern coming breaking all the way up and of course going to higher uh, levels also if you guys are zooming to the four hour chart you can see a little bit better that uh, even in the hour chart hourly chart yeah in the hourly chart is even better uh, we see that we have been breaking uh, this descending channel and breaking all the all the way up now we are respecting the uh, this resistance line that broke on the upper side as a support and we can easily start thinking that we can return to the level of 2496 and also i am expecting as i told you before the 2617 also coming retesting most likely if we are not going to break all the way down this is not so clear yet but of course i mentioned that i am expecting also this scenario if this could break on the downside and then i am 
coming to see and uh, check the 1990 this is the first level we should hold maybe a very fast candlestick coming all the way down to these levels uh not to the 1500 but to the 1736 almost and then coming to close the daily candlestick above this crucial level right here thank you so much for watching one more episode of crypto miner guys don't forget please to go down scroll smash up the like button subscribe to the channel and join the community for free at cryptomineracademy.com everything for free for you guys telegram group telegram chat youtube channel just go inside join the community for free it's a gift we are doing for you guys just because you are smashing this like button and subscribing to our channel thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye bye